Now we just have to section the fringe. How do we section the fringe off? Very simple. You look at the hairline. Where is the hairline? And I draw a line vertical. You have to draw the line vertical. It can't be at an angle because if you come at an angle, then some of the hair is still gonna be falling on the sides. So you gotta make sure that this is a vertical line and it follows the hairline down. Then you can twist this away and clip it. There we go, slide the clip up. So now we've got our fringe. Haircutting becomes less complicated the more you break it down. So now how do we turn this, all this hair here, into a nice little textured fringe that hugs the eyebrow. So we're gonna go right here, right at the bridge of the nose. So I'm gonna go just with a vertical section, straight down the center. And then we're going to use elevation. Now, we wanna determine our length, but I'm not in a rush to get this guideline, right? So the rest of it I can quickly go through. But to get this guideline, I wanna make sure I, I take my time, I pick my length right. And the one way that I'm gonna do this to kind of help myself out with the length is start by working right at the bridge of the nose, pinching here, but doing very little tension. Because I wanna get a closer length to my guideline. So half closing, just like this. So now that's close to where I want the length. It's not exact, but it makes it easier for me to now go, okay, well, I want to take that about a quarter of an inch shorter, as opposed to having the hair here and being like, well, I want to take it about two inches shorter. That's a harder guess for me. So now I elevate because elevation does what? Creates a lighter result. Coming out from the head. I'm not actually layering it, which would be up here right i'm dropping it down to give it a little more of a weight line but i want it to be nice and soft now I'll point cut to break it up so look at where we're at so now that length is sort of where i want it to be because uh, you got to think about is she going to have a little more volume when she styles it because where it's at now could be a lot flatter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of slide cutting in here just to break this up a little bit more. Just softening it, not going too crazy. And then what I can do is I can take my scissor underneath, lift it a little bit and then customize using the tip of the blade, this line and just take it the tiniest bit shorter in there. So now we've got a guide. So I'm going to move vertical over. So we've got our first section, right? That's our guide, so number one. Now we wanna travel that guide, but I don't wanna build up length on it, right? So I want this fringe to kind of f come across the eyebrow and then sit right at the cheekbone here. I need to make sure as I travel, I'm not building up a ton of length and weight. So as I work through, I grab section two, and now I'm going to pull section one to about one and a half. So it'll meet in the middle of section one and section two. Right here, I can see that guideline. And I come through and I point cut, just like that. And now I'll take a look at it and see where we're at with our line here. It's going a little bit longer, so I'll just re-elevate and over direct a little bit more. And just make sure we're getting a little bit more of a balanced line. Do a little bit more cutting with the scissor. Now the whole point of this technique is to keep it soft. We don't want a blunt line coming across, right? So you just gotta make sure we're working through each section and really taking a lot of care into it. A fringe takes a little bit of extra time into it. So that gave me a little extra length on the edge. And that's because we're dealing with the round, but I would rather have that little extra length and a little bit more bulk in here, and then come in with the scissor and straighten out that line a little bit. So now we're going to work to the other side. My body position will not change, okay? So my body position is still to the right of the mannequin. If you're a lefty, then you're to the 
to the left side of the mannequin. I'm still going to be pushing that center piece over to the new guide. So this is where it becomes really important to understand your combing. A lot of people think that this is an important tool and they spend so much money on this tool right here. But this tool that you can now get for $6.99 <laughs> on freesoneducation.com, this is the important tool. They come in all different shapes and sizes. They benefit you in so many different ways in a haircut. This tool right here, how I comb the hair and where I push the hair to, is gonna change this entire look. So I was pulling the guide to the new section. So I went from section one, pulled one over to two and cut two. Then I grabbed two, pulled that over to three and cut three. And what that does is it keeps the length the same. I wanna do that same thing all the way across. See how I'm pushing, so number two to three now, I'm just pushing it over and we're trying to keep from getting too much angle going that way. Also think about as I lift this hair up and cut it, when I drop it down, it's a little bit longer, but I keep then picking it up and cutting it. That's why it looks longer um, as I do it. So the technique is elevate, cut, get the hair nice and light, then go in and cut your line. So see how that, when you section to the hairline, it gives you the perfect fringe section because of the sectioning that you did. I'm just doing a little slide cutting to break up the fringe. This is called the frame cut. We've now cut our frame fringe. Now we need framing layers around the face. What's cool is I wanna create a disconnection here. As we work through it, I wanna create some layering, but I don't want that layering to connect. I'm gonna come through here and go slight diagonal forward with my section, comb all of this up and around the head, and I'm gonna get myself to this center point right above the nose. And once I'm there, I've got my guide from my fringe in the center, so guide one, right, from the beginning, and I just go right in here, and I connect with some point cutting into the hair. And I want this line, I don't wanna cut a hard line in here, I want it to be really soft. Now that over direction, because it's coming all the way around the head shape and to the bridge of the nose, gives me length and layers, okay? So I bring that around and I cut it. Now I'm gonna grab the rest, bring that around and do the same, cut it right at that point. Point cutting creates a soft line. Now when I let that go, still got my disconnect, but now I've got these layering, layers that are happening around the face. We're gonna style that in a second and I'll show you. So let me do the same thing on this side here. So now I'm gonna blow it out a little bit and then I'm gonna use the Paul Mitchell Neuro Sleek. So I got my Ergo brush here. I'm just gonna blow out a little bit. Actually, I'll go a bigger brush. So this is just gonna help me polish it out. And then we'll use the other tool to style it a little more. So I'll just use uh, Paul Mitchell Neuro, or not Neuro, Paul Mitchell Express Ion Smooth. Let's smooth out the fringe a little bit. So I want this fringe, I don't need it to be like voluminous. I just wanna add a little shine to it, a little bevel to the ends. Go in with my texture scissors, come in here, just take out some extra weight. We've got our Neuro Sleek. So now you can literally just take sections and this is a great tool for somebody that's really doing their hair by themselves, but like being able to kind of just brush sections, like look at that. You literally just put it in, give it a little brush and bend. Like if you wanted hair to kind of come off your face, which is not the easiest thing to get when you are uh, round brushing and stuff. So you could really dry your hair and then run this brush through and just smooth 
everything down and have it come back off the face like that. And the slower you go, the more curl you'll get out of it. So now we're gonna kind of finish off our little textured pieces around the face. Look at that. These little layers come across. You get that little veil, the pieciness, but a nice framed face in a cut.